Well, hello friends, this is Tommy Oaks, and this is the Story Break. We're taping this particular story in the springtime, so I thought I would tell a story about springtime that had to do with planting and growing things. Maybe it'll give you some ideas about some of the things you might plant this year, either in your yard or in your flower garden, or maybe you have a bona fide garden where you grow all kinds of vegetables and things like that. Well, you may have listened previously to some of my stories about my granddaddy, Daddy Amos. If you'd like to listen to some of them, they're in the archives here at Knoxville Community Media. And I told a bunch of stories about his dogs. That was because Daddy Amos really was a great hunter and he loved to hunt and fish and he had some dogs. But now my granddaddy was not only good at hunting and fishing, he also was good at making things grow. He loved to garden every year, and every year he had a great big old garden. Well, one year was an unusual year because that year we had an infestation of potato bugs. Those things flew in and just ate up all the potato vines, and we didn't have much of a crop that year. Well, that really bothered Daddy Amos, and so he thought about it all fall and all winter. And by the time spring came the next year, he had come up with a wonderful idea and here's what it was. When he planted potatoes that year, he planted them upside down. So what you see what happened was the potato plants, instead of growing up in the air, they grew down in the ground and the potatoes came up on top. Well, when they were growing, the potato bugs, when they came a flying in, they looked down and since all those plants were down in the ground instead of up in the air, they didn't see any of them. And so they just flew on past and went somewhere else. Well, that also made harvesting potatoes a lot easier that year because you didn't have to dig them. There they were growing on top because the top was the bottom and the bottom was the top. And they were a whole lot cleaner too growing up in the air the way they were. So that was a wonderful idea Daddy Amos had. Maybe it'll give you an idea too. The next summer, Daddy Amos decided to mix uh, potatoes with sponges. And I just got to be honest, those potatoes didn't taste very, very good at all. But they did hold a lot of gravy. But that's another story. I'll save that for another time. Thanks for stopping by for the story break. See you next time.